170 Mario Maker 2 things you probably don't know. Whoa. Welcome to the true test of knowledge. As you watch this video, keep track of how many of these things you already know and post your number and your rank in the comments at the end. Good luck. Attach the glory sound effect to the player so every time that they crouch, it will light up the screen. Twisters can carry the player from underneath in Super Mario Bros. and the Super Mario Bros. 3 styles. Link's sword can move power-ups without consuming them. The cape power-up can also move power-ups without consuming them. Bullet blasters on slopes create a safe surface to walk on lava or poison without the player seeing. Ground pounding while in a dry bone shell can defeat bosses in a single hit. Yoshi can spit three bones by licking up a dry bones. Yoshi can spit purple fire by licking up a cheap cheap that swam through poison. Porky Puffer explosions can destroy hard blocks. Bullet bills can knock back bullies. Heavy elements like bullet blasters can be stacked on skip squeaks if you put a crate in between them. In the course editor, zoom out when using multi-grab to capture more than using the regular view. On-off blocks change how much light items give in dark themes. Arrows placed inside of ground tiles can't be seen but create light in dark themes. bob reset their timer when carried through a door or pipe. Link's bombs can destroy the angry sun. Link can move a P-Switch without activating it by carrying it on his head. Yoshi can bring poison mushrooms from the ground night theme to any day theme that's connected through a pipe. Koopas that are shellless can change color depending on which shell they pick up next. Small Koopas that are knocked out of their shell can become giant by walking into an empty large shell. Pokies and Wigglers can cast a beam of light from their eyes in Ghost House and Underwater night themes. In the Super Mario Bros. 3 game style, Bowser can ground pound to activate blocks, P-switches, or PALs. You can vertically scroll stop without making ground all the way to the top of the course. Go one screen high and do not place anything else above the first screen. Holding up while using Yoshi's tongue in Super Mario World game style makes his tongue go one tile higher than usual. Vines inside stationary blocks grow infinitely but vines inside blocks on tracks stop after three vertical screens. Drag power-ups to the checkpoint flag to allow players to power up when reaching them. Snowballs can destroy the angry sun. Shellless Koopas in the 3D World style will chase the player forever when holding a shell the Koopa can put on. Red Yoshi can outrun his fireballs in the night airship theme. Holding the trigger button will let you jump the highest possible amount regardless of how long you press the jump. You can gather coins from frozen coin blocks without falling by shooting fire and running. Flipping a bonsai bill at the perfect time on the 3D World style will allow enemies like Thwomps to pass straight through it. If you throw a bomb and raise your shield as Link, Thwomps will push you quickly. You can climb through hidden blocks in a vine or stand on a platform that moves through hidden blocks. You can hide keys inside of Yoshi eggs so it hatches a key instead of a Yoshi. Put Bowser in a Lakitu cloud above the course to create meteors that follow the player. Create just a chain chomp stump by making a flying block crush a bomb into another block that's right next to a chain chomp. Blocks that are destroyed don't respawn unless they have a vine inside of them. You can throw a Koopa upward just after they get back into their shell in the Super Mario World style. Ground pounding or holding down with a dry bone shell makes the play dead last longer than normal. Stretches, also known as floor boos, stop moving when you look at them only in the ground night theme. Crouch for about 5 seconds on a white semi-solid block in the Super Mario Bros. 3 ground theme and you will do a small hop. Destroy bullet blasters with a giant stiletto by pressing down while in the air above them. 3D World has two types of POW blocks. Red ones destroy nearby blocks and can activate nearby POWs. Players without a Super Leaf can fly in multiplayer while carrying someone that has the Super Leaf. Lightly tap the shoulder button to escape a Koopa Clown car effortlessly. Enter a door or pipe by standing on top of a rocky wrench when it pops out of the ground. Magic Koopas can make the flagpole disappear temporarily. The dry bone shell can be used to bounce off of all projectiles. Copy and paste ground tiles with decorations to quickly get the design you want. 
You can hide on-off trampolines and trees in the 3D world underground and forest themes. POWs can bounce on piranha plants in the Mario Bros style. Frog Mario can throw a POW and grab it again before it explodes underwater. Attach the ding dong bzzzt or near miss sound effect to Mario and it will activate when he stands idle every three seconds. Mario can walk on a seesaw without tilting it if it's placed on a bridge. Mario can still ground pound that seesaw overlapped with a bridge. Roy can't dig through a floor of sideways trampolines. Roy can dig into POW blocks, which can be carried around. If winged hidden blocks are activated and then the room resets, they instantly teleport to where they first were placed. Snake blocks can go through fire bars. Snake blocks can go through burners. Attach the oink or ninja attack sound effect on Mario and it will trigger when he runs at P speed and turns around. Twisters do not affect Mario while he's climbing a vine. Riding a big Goomba shoe while in a fire clown car lets Mario launch a giant fire missile. Pipes can be hidden behind skewers and still work normally. Pipes can be hidden behind burners and still work normally. Balloon Mario can transport a P-switch on his body without activating it if it's already in the air. Donut blocks can be hidden behind fire bars and they will still fall. Attach the Doom, Glory, Honk Honk, or Baby sound effect onto Mario, and he will activate it every time he crouches. Meowser will not jump off screen if placed in a twister. Mushroom platforms underneath slopes can make enemies turn around. Bowser's fire hitting a note block sounds like a kazoo. In the 3D world style, hit a block underneath a bullet bill to destroy both the bill and the block. In the new Super Mario Bros. U style, Hold jump while falling in water to make Mario flutter kick. Semi-solids in the new Super Mario Bros. style can be combined to create different colors. In the new Super Mario Bros. style, Mario can slide up conveyor belt walls in the night sky theme. Mario can slide upward on conveyor slopes in the sky night theme. Attach the flash, yeah, applause, or cheer sound effect onto Mario, and it will activate every time he gets a power up. Play dead in a dry bone shell to let Mario go through the flagpole or axe without finishing the course. Bloopers can't hit Mario if he's small and doesn't move. In multiplayer, if two players grab the pole at the exact same time, whoever grabs it higher will win. Mushroom trampolines can't overlap with other trampolines in the 3D world style. Mega Mario can't get hit by spikes that are surrounded by ground tiles. In the Super Mario World style Ghost House Night theme, the lamp decorations are turned off. Mario can duck and slide under claws to avoid being grabbed if done precisely. Stacks of conveyor belts with a cannon attached can make items move up and down. The Mega Mushroom will allow Mario to grab the flagpole through the top of a slope. Cat Mario can climb through hidden blocks. Attach piranha plants to thwomps by sliding them upward with a lift. Twisters can make spike tops move from the floor to the ceiling. A Monty Mole touched by the angry sun will jump. Holding down the A button after you place an arrow sign lets you easily rotate it. Lava and Poison have the exact same characteristics except that donut blocks are slowed down by lava but not from Poison. Press down and jump to drop safely from a claw. Skewers will destroy brick blocks instantly and keep going through, but hard blocks and item boxes will only be destroyed one row at a time. Mario can launch a snowball by using momentum while on a vine. Thwomps behave like boos in the night ground theme. Boo rings stop moving in the night ground theme when you look at them. Float upward on crates to move through hidden blocks without activating them. Mario can spin jump off of a note block. Today, we will hunt for the truth with the help of Master Mythbuster and Awesome Mario Maker 2 content creator, Smashy Myth. You can't keep a pal after throwing it to destroy enemies. Busted. Using the frog suit underwater can be fast enough to re-grab the pal after throwing through an enemy. Myth. Claws will always grab Luigi if he's one tile below them. Busted. Small Luigi can actually slide underneath the claw and not be grabbed. Myth! Sideways piranha plants cannot attach to bullet blasters. Busted! You can attach the sideways piranha plants to blocks overlapping with bullet blasters and then have Luigi activate a P-switch before entering the zone to attach them. Myth! Pals will fall through piranha plants. Busted! 
pals actually bounce forward and can create a moving platform for Luigi. Myth, you can't enter hidden pipes. Busted. Hide a pipe behind a skewer to make a completely hidden entrance in your level. Myth, if you don't move, bloopers will kill you. Busted. As small Luigi, bloopers just dance around you forever if you don't move. Myth. You cannot hold an enemy with the SMB2 mushroom and get a superstar. Busted. If you are holding the enemy when you pick up the star, the enemy is safe. Myth. You can use the SMB2 mushroom to throw Likido into a Koopa clown car. Busted. Unfortunately, he just flies through it and into the abyss below. Myth. The pull bill mask doesn't work underwater. Busted. The bill mask can still fly and never runs out of fuel. Myth. Giant ant troopers can be destroyed by the cannon mask. Busted. Cannonballs explode on contact but don't do any damage. Myth. You cannot jump when coming out of a sideways pipe. Busted. The frog suit gives Luigi a tiny window where he can jump upward coming out of the pipe. Myth. Donut blocks can't overlap with fire bars. Busted. The donut blocks are hidden behind the fire bars but aren't noticeable until they fall. Myth. Snake blocks can't go through fire bars. Busted. Even though Luigi can stand on them like ground, snake blocks can still go through. Myth. Snake blocks can go through two state blocks. Busted. The editor won't allow us to place them in the snake blocks path even if the block is currently not active. Myth. Morton cannot ground pound chain chomp stumps. Busted. He can, and it makes for an intense and fun boss fight. Myth. Tucking and shooting with a cannon box has no effect. Busted. It allows Luigi to shoot one block lower than he normally would be able to. Myth. Luigi cannot drive while wearing a mask. Busted. He can drive while wearing any mask. Myth. Luigi can fly with a car if he is wearing the Bullet Bill mask. Busted. Flying is disabled when in the car. Myth. There is no way to go through a flagpole or axe without finishing the level. Busted. You can go through by playing dead in a dry bone shell. Myth. The wind won't affect Luigi if he is playing dead in a dry bone shell. Busted. It does. You can move through obstacles without being damaged this way. Myth. Twisters will always push you upward. Busted. If Luigi is holding onto a vine, the twisters will not affect him. Myth. Semi-solids in the same space will only show one at a time. Busted. In the new Super Mario Bros. Sky theme, you can combine multiple semi-solids and form new colors. Myth. Cat Luigi cannot climb while wearing 3D World masks. Busted. He can climb wearing any of the masks and will actually reset the propeller charges when he climbs. Myth. Mecha Koopas die when falling into poison. Busted. Mecha Koopas will stay alive and continue to attack Luigi from the Grape Jelly. Myth. Grabbing a power-up causes Luigi to lose his P-Speed. Busted. Luigi can switch between Frog running on water at max speed and flying with the Tanuki suit instantly. Myth. Boo rings will always spin, even if you are looking at them. Busted. They stop if you are in the ground night theme when looking at them like normal boos. Myth. If two players touch the flagpole at the same time in multiplayer, they will tie. Busted. Whoever touched the flag higher will win. Myth. Luigi can't move through hidden blocks. Busted. Luigi can climb through with a cat suit without triggering them. Myth. Roy can dig into any surface. Busted. Sideways trampolines are great because Luigi can walk on them and Roy can't dig. Myth. You can destroy Lemmy's orbs by ground pounding in a dry bone shell. Busted. Luigi will just bounce off of them 
when he tries. Myth. The falling feather power-up is unaffected by Luigi's abilities. Busted. Luigi can move it across the screen by twirling with his cape. Myth. Frog Luigi needs to hold an item to run. Busted. Luigi can hold another player in multiplayer and still run. Myth. Koopaling projectiles can't melt frozen coin blocks. Busted. They can, but only in the new Super Mario Bros. style and not the other retro styles. Myth. Fanto can be destroyed by Star Luigi. Busted. Both the Fanto and Luigi will stay alive while the star is active. Myth. SMB2 Luigi will fail the don't touch the ground clear condition when walking on enemies. Busted. Enemies count as ground when using the SMB2 mushroom. Myth. Enemies are not slippery in the snow night theme. Busted. Because they count as ground, they are affected by the night theme effect. Myth. You can wear shelmets as P. Luigi. Busted. Nope, they will just bounce away if you try to put it on. Myth. All couplings weigh the same. Busted. Roy, Morton and Ludwig weigh twice as much as each of the coupling. Myth. A cannonball weighs more than a power block. Busted. Cannonballs have no weight regardless of their size. Myth. Yoshi cannot lick P. Luigi. Busted. Somehow Yoshi can hold him in his belly like normal. Myth. Enemies with keys can be placed on tracks. Busted. For some reason, the game refuses to let you put an enemy on the track until you remove the key. Myth. Poison mushrooms will follow you while playing dead in a dry bone shell. Busted. The mushroom will take a break from chasing you until you come back to life. Myth. The power balloon is the same speed in all themes. Busted. Underwater themes slow the balloon down and the sky night theme makes it even faster. Myth. Chain chomp chains are always the same length. Busted. The chains actually get longer in the ground night theme. Myth. Lava and poison have the exact same characteristics. Busted. Donut blocks are slowed down by lava, but not by poison. Myth. You can stand on items being held by another player that has the SMB2 mushroom. Busted. Mario will just bounce on top of Luigi instead of being able to stand. Myth. You can bring snowballs to a non-snow area through a pipe. Busted. The snowballs disappear as you enter the pipe. Myth. Panzai bills do not collide with each other. Busted. They don't in the retro styles, but they do in the 3D world style. Myth. Luigi can trap a player in a Yoshi's mouth by ditching the Yoshi. Busted. Right when Luigi jumps off, the player will pop out of Yoshi's mouth. Myth. Link's bombs can destroy the moon. Busted. Link's bombs can destroy the sun, but do nothing to the moon. Luigi stuck in a castle surrounded by lava. There are no doors or pipes to move him away, and only an annoying Mecha Koopa slowly closing in for an attack. What should he do? Luigi can actually use the Mecha Koopa as a lava surfboard if he continually spin jumps on it to get across the lava. Luigi has been tasked with a speed challenge where he only has 10 seconds and needs to run against fast reverse conveyor belts. Whenever he tries, he runs out of time. How should he proceed? Luigi's trick here is to gain speed and immediately jump again every time he lands the conveyor belts won't be able to slow him down, and he can get to the end with time to spare. Luigi enters a speed room where a bob bomb gets ignited and eventually explodes to trigger an on-off switch. Luigi tries to rush through the room quickly, but keeps getting to the door a millisecond too late. What should he do? He can actually save some time by jumping into each wall before changing direction. In the first three game styles, this provides a tiny time-saving boost to each jump that can help him through the challenge. Luigi is thrown into a dangerous pit with pain-flavored spike traps blocking his path. Every time he tries to get over them, he dies. What can he do to make this easy? 
Luigi can actually do a triple jump here and just let go of the controller once he hits his third jump. This causes him to land with zero momentum and he can easily escape after that. Luigi's stuck between spiky walls and doesn't have enough room to gain momentum for a regular jump. He tries a duck jump, but can't make it through safely. How can he make it through? For some reason, if he faces away from the direction he wants to go and does a backward duck jump, he gets extra distance and can get through unharmed. Luigi is again taunted by spike blocks in a tight space. He wants to bite into a delicious green apple flavored mushroom, but needs to get across first. He tries to long jump, but he hits the spikes. How can he make it? The trick here is to long jump, but then let go of everything on the controller. If he doesn't press any buttons or a direction, landing the long jump will have zero momentum and he can safely make it through this obstacle. In this next room, Luigi can Grand Theft Auto himself a Koopa car and needs to break through these blocks to get up to a high door. Unfortunately, the car takes damage after hitting each block and eventually the car breaks. How will Luigi navigate this one? When he steals the car, Luigi can actually turn around at the perfect time to hit each block. If he does it right, the turn from the car destroys the block, but prevents damage to the car. Once he destroys the blocks, he can jump up and then jump out of the car to get up to the door. Luigi's looking for a tasty golden snack, but this scrumptious coin is blocked by red blocks. He needs to hit the on-off switch, but every time he throws a bob -omb into the area, the claw grabs it and the explosion doesn't reach the switch. What can he do? When Luigi ignites a bob -omb by jumping on it, usually it can't move again. If you put that bob -omb into a claw and go underneath to make it drop, the lit bob -omb will walk again. In this room, Luigi only has 20 seconds to make a muncher bite into a juicy bob -omb to explode and let him get up to a door. Luigi waits for Goombas to walk onto the seesaw, but they spawn far too slowly, so he runs out of time. What should he try? If Luigi continuously jumps on or over the blue pipe right after it spits out a Goomba, it will speed up production of the next enemy, and he can make it out in time. Luigi's famished and needs to eat more delicious coins to build up strength. He has a super leaf and needs to fly up to the top right, but every time he tries, he can't make it far enough. How can Luigi devour this coin? Luigi can gain some extra distance by always doing a tail whip before pressing the jump button in flight. When done correctly, this keeps his speed up so he can move further. Luigi enters a room with hard blocks blocking his path forward. If he falls into this narrow crevice, he automatically ignites a bob -omb. Going through the door resets the bob -omb, and he can't jump away from the explosion. How can he get through? Luigi can actually just hold the ignited bob -omb and move through the door at the perfect moment. If he does this right, the bomb will still explode, but he will also stay alive. Luigi encounters a horde of Goombas who protected themselves inside a wall. The one furthest away has the key he needs to escape. He's unable to attack them through the wall and only has a cannon and a Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom. How does he get that key? Luigi can ride the cannonball up and pick it up using his Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom powers. When he throws it through the wall, he creates a chain reaction to destroy every single Goomba and get the key. Luigi morphs into Link Ouija for this next one. He is challenged to beat a tough room using only his sword. Link Ouija has a clear condition to defeat eight piranha plants that are above him. How can he do it without using anything other than his sword? Link has a really cool ability where his sword can actually hit enemies that are above him. He can just jump up underneath them, slice the sword, and clear them out. Link Ouija moves forward to the next area, where he must carefully jump onto a semi-solid without taking damage to collect rupees disguised as coins. He tries dashing, but he can't get enough height. Every time he jumps, he hits his head on the spike traps. How can Link Ouija stay healthy and move forward? When using the Master Sword power-up, you can dash into a wall and then press jump after hitting it. That allows Link to move up exactly one block and get those sweet, sweet rupees. Luigi was transformed into a cat and forced to climb a tall stack of ground. Every time he gets towards the top, he starts to scramble and slide down. How can he get all the way up? 
To get a slight boost to climbing height, Luigi just needs to jump off the wall when he starts the scrambling animation, and then dive back onto the wall to get four more blocks of climbing power. Luigi explores a jungle and wants to move up into a beautiful meadow filled with plants. Every time he tries to climb a vine, he enters a door overlapped with his position. If he tries to jump, a hidden block activates. How can he go up the vine? If Luigi very patiently and lightly presses upward on the joystick, he can climb through the block and avoid going into the door to get to those plants. Luigi goes for a swim. A vicious porcupuffer chases him, and because Luigi is slow, he gets chomped right away. How can Luigi move faster to escape? Right when the course starts, Luigi can actually crawl for a millisecond before swimming to get a tiny speed boost and outswim the beast. Luigi opens a door to a fiery inferno of death. He needs to fall gracefully to get onto a safe platform, but he can't seem to make it far enough to the right. How can we keep him from swimming in the molten cherry juice? Luigi can actually hold jump as he enters the door, and that will let him have the tiniest bit of extra distance while falling. Captain Skip Squeak challenges Luigi to a race. Luigi's given a cat power up, but a slight disadvantage with blinking blocks slowing him down. When he runs, Captain Skip Squeak beats him every time to the gold. How can he win the race and eat his meal? In this one, Luigi can alternate between cat diving and long jumping to get a slight speed boost and beat Captain Skip Squeak. Luigi enters a deadly looking level with a do not take damage clear condition. He needs to walk across some spikes and is only given a POW mask. How can he make it across without taking damage? The don't take damage clear condition has a helpful loophole. If Luigi loses his mask in the natural way, meaning hitting his head on the ceiling three times to activate the POW mask, he gains short invincibility and can walk across the spikes no problem. To see hundreds of ideas featuring the cool mechanics in this video, click on the playlist right here. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.